boat trip. Yeah, that's that was silly. Nonetheless, um, we're heading out to Philadelphia. Top secret. Top secret. This isn't coming out until much until we've picked our medical school. And we're going to check out Drexel. So we want to get a look at the school. We want to get a look at the neighborhood. We want to hang out with Uncle Rich. Want to? Um, I'm going to the accepted students' day, so we'll get to see. Uh, I'll get to look at the curriculum and the other students that uh, have been accepted. See if we're all a match for one another. What you look at that?
favorite animals here. Her name is Blue. She's our dwarf caiman, which is one of our resident crocodilians here at the aquarium. Now, believe it or not, Blue is actually fully grown. A lot of people think she's going to grow a little bit bigger, but with the name Dwarf in there, she is totally grown, and she's about four, three and a half to four foot right now. If she was a male, she could get a little bit bigger, but uh, being a female, she's just slightly smaller. I was saying she's a Dwarf Cayman, which is a very closely, uh, close relative to an alligator. Alligators are uh, something that we have here in America, and then as you get into South America, there are crocodiles, but there's uh, a lot more caimans, which is basically a South American version of an alligator. Now, a couple ways you can tell a difference between a crocodile and an alligator is that their uh, lower jaw on an alligator, that lower jaw is going to be a little bit smaller than their top jaw, allowing it to fit a little bit more snug in their mouth when they close down. And a crocodile's lower jaw is going to be just about the same size as their upper jaw, making their teeth a little more exposed at most times. Now, one thing that's a little bit different between them as well is that they have, uh, crocodiles actually have a gland that allows them to process salt water, which is really neat because a lot of crocodiles, believe it or not, hang around um, estuaries and areas where fresh water meets the salt water. And there's actually some species called saltwater crocodiles that travel out into the ocean quite far. So they're more of a, almost an ocean and just hanging out on land animal, whereas an alligator and a caiman are strictly fr uh, fresh water. So uh, the last thing, the third way to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, this is the biggest one here, is that depending on how, how much time it takes you to see them again. So if you see, if you see them like a little later, they're probably an alligator. But if it's going to take a while to see them again, it's a crocodile. They're all, of course, labeled on the bottom. Oh, uh, what's that one look like? Ooh. Looks like ketchup. Must be the onion. Roll, tuck, roll. This one is uh, plain. Plain, plain Jane. This one is the mushroom. Oh, yeah.
just got home. It's like 12.30. Gotta wake up early. Kids are in bed. Gina's sleeping. I gotta finish on back in the van. We had a great time. So it's time to go to sleep. Bye.